program up at UVic is very strong under Doug Tate. And, uh, yeah, you're right, some big uh, Liam Chisholm, uh, of course, the, the turncoat who uh, made his mark in this tournament playing for the team opposite him, the UBC uh, Okanagan team, the Heat, and now he's playing against them for the UVic campus. Here goes the restart, nice high hanging kick. One well there by UBCO, but bobbled on the first pass. They showed some good life yesterday, trying to get the offload off. And they have two players on this near side if they can use it. Out wide there. Okanagan, the Heat, looking for holes, going side to side. Jed Anderson here had a couple of tries yesterday at the flashy haircut. If you're going to have that, you have to <laughs> back it up with uh, your on-field play. Spun out. Big hit coming in from Connor Llewellyn. Breaking through one tackle, just finally getting taken down by Cappy Vitaki. Advantage for UBC Okanagan. Not quite being able to use it. Playing a little bit of slow ball, but trying to get around the outside. Bit of a mismatch, that ball is spilled forward. Advantage to the Norseman. Now Llewellyn, got a good game sense, giving it to one of the uh, bigger players. Shea Wakefield, a Victoria BC product, taking it up just inside UBCO territory. They've got an entire team on the right-hand side here. Now Chisholm, a big body. Breaks through one, breaks through another. Good offload, but it's spilled for. Referee says it went backwards off a Heat player in the hands of UBCO. They can use it here, three on three. Spun out wide. Can he get around Wakefield? Bit of a mismatch. Spun back in. Jed Anderson. It's a good passage of play here. A couple minutes without a, without a drop or a knock on. And that ball is dancing towards the touchline there. Pop back inside one more time. Going back. A Gets lot of through possession. one and there's a gap. He's got a bit of room to move. One player to beat. Good tackle from the UVic Norseman player. That ball is spilled forward. I don't know if the referee saw it. Advantage to the UBC. Oh, the fans here calling for that knock on, but they didn't see it. So the call coming in is up the side of the ruck. But as you heard... Uh, Perhaps a, a missed call. Definitely the fans thought they saw it. So, so a few of these UBCO players with their hands on their knees might have been a smart idea to hit touch, but they go with a quick tap. Ball moving on. Chisholm trying to make the tackle here, but he can't quite do it. Trying for the ankle tap. One last player on the outside. They link up. Don't have the pace to get by him though. Offload back, behind the back. Stopping, waiting, trying to find some support. There's numbers. They have bodies out here if they can use it. Passes behind him, that'll slow him up. Good show and go, gets past one defender. Does he have the pace to get around? He's got a player in support. Can they get it? No, the pass doesn't go to hand. Just, uh Anderson made the break. He looked at his man outside and just couldn't get it to hand. Uvic doing well to scramble. A referee's going to say no. There's a penalty. You tackle him without wrapping your arms. Quick tap. Moving it to the middle of the field. But there was a shooter on defense, so they couldn't pass it out wide. Uvic might steal this ball. Coming in from the side, says the referee here. UBCO still on the attack. No score in this game yet. Taken up hard into contact, but wrapped up. They need to get this ball down. It is a ruck, or a, pardon me, a mall right now. Sloppy play, but it is won by the Norsemen. <laughs> so referee Kaluznak there in the green jersey. The local UVic fans are all over him. I'm sorry, Heron's going to ask a few questions, but uh, he's sticking to his guns, and right now it's uh, UBC Okanagan. I wonder if they'll uh, rue the day. They didn't get over the line there. Just five meters out, they've turned the ball over. Some big forwards for the Norsemen there on the left side of your screen. You got Wakefield, Heron, and Chisholm. Three big bodies in the game of sevens. Good scrum from the Norsemen. Going down the blind side, Llewellyn. 
Doesn't have any room to move, so he just stops, back pedals, trying to find a, a break, but he's uh, back pedaling pretty far here. But he manages to break free again, still on his feet. Can't be brought down yet to Wakefield. Dodges one, can't quite get it down yet. They have numbers on this side. Chisholm getting it out. Oh, right into the contact. There's Cappy Pataki. Back to Chisholm. This could have been, no, it is won by the Norse. Pataki running it straight up the gut. Now Llewellyn on the outside. Bit of a mismatch in size here. Wakefield, good hand fan, gets around his man, pins his ears back, and the race is on. He's got a guy in support. A little show and go. Oh, and just the ankle tap right on that touch line. Referee blows it down. Oh, that would have been huge. Shea Wakefield, the Oak Bay High, Victoria, BC product. Just a couple of dummies and a little show and go. And oh, the only thing bringing him down is an ankle tap. So that. Uh, Good showcasing a skill here from the big man. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Still zeros on the board. Both teams having some possession in this game. Not able to capitalize quite yet. So, uh, clean line out win from the granny style toss. UBCO going to the boot. No sweeper. Oh yes, he's coming across field now. Got two players up against him. He'll uh, quick step off the left foot. And one more time, he needs some support. And they've got three guys here. And now Cappy, Vitaki, walking up the field. Little shimmy and shake, trying to get around the outside. Going to the boot. He's taken down. Referee, play on. Picked up well there by the player from UBCO. Sawyer Heron all over him. One again, good offload. Now Jed Anderson, fake, spinning it out. This is good. Action from both these sides, not able to uh, break through the defense. Uh-oh, this could be costly for UBCO. They're deep inside.